Se la massa delle rocce che costituiscono le Dolomiti While the bulk of the rocks making up the Dolomites dates back to the Triassic, their sedimentary history continues throughout the Jurassic and up to the Cretaceous. Since younger formations overlaid the older ones, when this era began to rise under the pressure of the orogenetic forces, the more recent rocks were the first to emerge from the sea and to be eroded. The result can be seen on these mountains, most is Triassic, little Jurassic and very little Cretaceous. Although dainty, the Cretaceous of the Dolomites is very interesting for the peculiar ammonites it contains. While these mollusks in both the Triassic and Jurassic were represented by simple plainy spiral forms, in the Cretaceous their shell could be more complex, as we see in this showcase. They are called ethermorph ammonites, and though not exclusive, they are certainly typical of this time period. The fauna collected on Pitts Puets, in particular, is very rarely found elsewhere in Italy. Beside being beautiful and often well preserved, the specimens can reach one meter in diameter. Vivevano in un mare verosimilmente poco profondo perché gli specialisti dicono che con queste forme non Specialists believe their morphology was not optimal for swimming. Thus they probably dwell in the water column close to the seabed. E con questi fossili praticamente si chiude la storia Here the sedimentary history of the Dolomites comes to an end. Much later, around 100 million years ago, their tectonic history began. In other words, the long and extremely complicated process leading a seabed to become the marvelous mountains that surround us today.